Hi guys, welcome to this 35th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with flow code for PIC for absolute beginners. In this tutorial, we're gonna design an automatic temperature control system. An automatic temperature control system has the ability to monitor and control temperature of a specified space without human intervention. This project uses a peak microcontroller to automatically control the temperature of a specified area. This area could be a small plant, a house, or any place or device that require a controlled temperature, like a chicken incubator, for example. The desired temperature settings is entered using a keypad. The temperature of the area is measured using the analog sensor. The microcontroller reads the temperature and compares it with the desired value which was entered using a keypad. If this desired value is higher than the measured temperature, then the heater is switched on to warm the area. If, on the other hand, the measured value is higher than the desired value, then the fan is switched on to cool off the area. An LCD display shows the measured temperature continuously. Before we design our circuit diagram, let us first have a look at the finished project. This is a project in flow code. We're gonna apply the skills we have learned in the previous tutorials, like how to use an LCD, a keypad, a relay, to read analog sensor, EEPROM. We're gonna also use macros in this tutorial. In fact, we're gonna have three macros. We're gonna have the set temperature macro, the read temperature macro, and the compare temperature macro. Let us run the project. Gonna display automatic temperature, then it's gonna prompt the user to enter the reference temperature. Let's say the reference temperature is gonna be 28. It's gonna in the system is gonna accept up to two digit temperature. Once you are done, you can press the hash key to continue. It display the reference temperature to be 28 degrees. The current temperature it's reading as zero. You can increase the temperature. Once the current temperature is above the reference temperature, the fan relay will be switched on to cool off the area. And once the current temperature is below the reference temperature, then the heater relay will be switched on to heat up the area. If you want to change the reference temperature, you can press and hold the star key for more than three seconds. And it's gonna prompt you to enter the new reference temperature. Gonna enter one degree, enter, press H key. Gonna go through everything in this tutorial. We're gonna explain every code in detail. Let us simulate in Proteus as well. Run automatic temperature control. Then enter the temp ref, press the H key to end. The reference temperature, we're gonna enter 23, press H key. You can see the current temperature is higher than the reference temperature, so the fan is rotating to cool off the area. If you can decrease the temperature. Once this temperature is below the reference temperature, then the fan is gonna be off and the heater is gonna start warming up the area. Press and hold for more than three seconds to enter the setup mode. You can enter the new reference temperature and once you save this new reference temperature, this value is gonna be stored in the peak internal EEPROM. Let's say we're gonna enter 27. The current temperature is 27. Let us stop our simulation and restart it again. Then we're gonna see that the current reference temperature is still gonna be 27 and it's not gonna prompt us to enter a new reference temperature because it's gonna read from the previous stored in memory. 
this is part one of this project in this part we're gonna design the circuit diagram so let us design our circuit diagram in this project we're gonna use the peak 18f 45k 22 in the library peak 18f 45k 22 this peak has got 32 kilobytes of code memory which is more than enough for this project click ok the second device that we're gonna need in this project is the LCD display LCD we're gonna use the 16 by 2 line LCD display the other device that we're gonna need is the keypad keypad we're gonna use this keypad the other devices that we're gonna need you're gonna need the temperature sensor you're gonna use the LM35 this is a precision centigrade temperature sensor it can measure the temperature from minus 55 degree to 150 degree Celsius we're gonna need some transistors we're gonna use the BC 108 this is a silicon NPN low power bipolar transistor we're gonna need a relay we're gonna need this one we're gonna need a fan to simulate our fan we're gonna use a DC motor we're gonna have this simple DC motor we're gonna need a diode 1N4004 we're gonna need a push button we're gonna use this one we're gonna need a couple of resistors say 10k resistors we're gonna use this one we're gonna need a crystal oscillator we're gonna need some few capacitors 22 pico we're gonna need a heater to simulate the heater we're gonna use the bulb and lastly we're gonna need a variable resistor to vary the contrast of our LCD display we're gonna use this one click OK let us connect our component together we're gonna start with the LCD display let me move this one this side let's start with our LCD display let me just mirror horizontally my peak microcontroller we're gonna connect our LCD display on port C the LCD data lines from D4 we're gonna connect D4 to RC0 D5 to RC1 D6 to RC2 and D7 gonna connect to RC3 the RS pin we're gonna connect it to RC4 and the enable pin we're gonna connect it to RC5 let us connect our variable resistor this variable resistor is used to vary the contrast of the LCD display the wiper pin of the variable resistor will be connected to VEE of the LCD display and one pin should be connected to the positive 5 volt supply and the other pin should be connected to ground so we're gonna need the positive power supply and we're gonna need the ground connector as well connect to ground this should be connected to positive 5 volt positive 5 volt okay the VDD pin of the LCD display should be connected to positive 5 volt and the VSS should be connected to ground and lastly on the LCD display the pin RW which is read write pin should be connected to ground as well okay the other thing that we're gonna connect is the keypad we're gonna connect our keypad to port B of our peak microcontroller this first pin we're gonna connect it to RB0 and the second colon pin gonna connect it to RB1 
And the last colon pin, we're going to connect it to RB2. We're going to connect row A to RB4. Row B to RB5. Row C to RB6. And the last row, we're going to connect it to RB7. We're going to need a couple of resistors when we are connecting our keypad, if you learned it from the keypad tutorial, going to need four resistors. Rotate. Two, three, and four. Let me drag some of this pin this side so that I can have some, some space to connect my resistors. Drag wire. All these resistors will be 10K resistors. So I'm going to hide the part number so that I can have some space to connect my resistors. Edit properties. I'm going to hide the part reference and the, the name. Okay. Going to connect this one to, to row A. Second row. The third row. And R4 to the fourth row. All these resistors should be connected to ground. I'm gonna need the ground. Okay. The next thing that we're gonna connect is our reset circuit. We're gonna need a push button, a 10K resistor, and the ground. Okay. This is our reset circuit. Whenever we press this button, our circuit will be reset. Gonna need the positive supply as well. Should be connected to positive 5 volt. Okay, I'm gonna name this reset. Reset. Okay. The other thing that we're gonna need to connect is our oscillator circuit crystal oscillator rotate we're gonna use 8 megahertz crystal oscillator just gonna hide this so that I can have some space show all okay we're gonna connect our crystal oscillator to oscillator 1 and 2 pin of the peak microcontroller we're going to need two capacitors. Going to need the ground. Okay. The other thing that we're going to connect is our temperature sensor. We're going to connect our temperature sensor to RA0, which is analog channel 0. Because we don't have a space, to connect our V out straight to our RA0 to make our circuit neat, we're gonna use a connector. This connector temp. Okay. We're gonna need another connector this side. X mirror. And we're gonna write the same thing, temp. And this is going to be basically a connection from my RA, which is analog zero, to my temperature sensor. Pin one should be connected to positive supply, positive five volt, and pin three should be connected to ground. Okay. And lastly, what we're going to need is to connect our fan and our heater. We're going to also need some connectors so that our circuit could look neat. We're going to connect our heater to D0 and our fan to D1. We're going to need a connector, two connectors. This one will be our heater and this one will be our fan. Let us connect our heater and our fan. To do this, we're going to need a transistor because we're not going to connect our heater directly to a peak microcontroller. We're going to connect it 
through a relay, and the relay is going to be powered with a transistor. You're going to have the BC108. You're going to need a relay as well. You're going to need a resistor. We're going to need a diode. This diode is called a freewheeling diode. It's used to suppress the back EMF generated by the coil of the relay. When it switches on and off, uh, this back EMF could go and destroy our transistor. So we need a diode to protect our transistor. We're going to connect this diode in reverse bias across the coil of our relay. We're going to need our heater, which is represented by a bulb. This will be a 12 volt heater. We're going to need a positive supply power. This will be 12 volt. Positive 12 volt. This heater will be connected to the normally open connector of the, the relay and ground. We're going to need the ground. The ground will be connected to the common pin of the relay. We're going to need the ground for our transistor as well. Our relay will be powered from the same power supply as our peak microcontroller. It's going to be powered with 5 volt. 5 volt. Okay. We're going to need another connector. This is going to be heater. Heater. This is going to be the same connection to connect our transistor to RT0. Let us connect our fan as well. It's going to be connected exactly as our heater. Let me rename this L1 to heater. Okay. And that's all guys for this tutorial. We have connected all our component. We've got the LCD display to display continuously the measured temperature. We've got a reset circuit to reset our circuit. We've got a keypad to enter the value of the reference temperature. We've got a temperature sensor. We've got an oscillator circuit. We've got the heater and we've got the fan. Just gonna write fan. And that's all guys for this first part of this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future. And if you've got a comment, you are welcome to leave your comment in this video. You can also like it and share it. We promise you that we're gonna reply to each and every comment that you're gonna leave. And I will see you guys in part two. Thank you.